There she goes. Yeah, there we go. And up there, it says recording. I, yeah. you know, I mean, it's the little things in life. Can't do a video unless you're recording. How, this is number one fifty six. Okay, part two. One no, no, no. This is one fifty seven. Actually, <laughs> one fifty six. One fifty six. There's only one other time that I couldn't remember. Wasn't sure. And I was glad I did because I didn't have another record of a recording for yeah. that particular okay. time so, either. So, uh, take two. <laughs> I can't. We just spent the last hour away. and a half chatting with you guys. It was, it was, y'all missed a really good episode. <laughs> had to be there. <laughs> it was really good. We, so I, we, I guess right. technically, I guess technically, we are on one hundred fifty-seven. We. Just we finished 156. <laughs> okay. Now, remember it was pick on Gary? Mm -mm, not anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> you mean all oh, that wait, wait, good wait. Gary? Wait, wait, wait. All, all that good Gary. So we can start this video over. <laughs> because well, I we're going to do all this stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't even know what I've. Anyway, I, let, me, let me set myself up again. Oh my okay. goodness. So should we should we count it in again? Yes. Well, no, let's just do it. Hey, everybody. We're the Sunshine Stitchers. Yes. Three. She's EJ. This is Gary. I'm Shelia. And yeah, okay. We're starting our video. And we're so glad you're watching our video. <laughs> oh, really? right. Are watching. you out there this time? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm looking for somebody. <laughs> so basically, what just happened is that I forgot to hit record. And so we did our whole video. Whole good video, too. Great. Uh, it's it's the hard. best one ever. Totally. Yes. And I went to. For an hour and a half. I went to stop the recording and it said record on this computer. <laughs> What else were we recording on? We weren't recording anywhere, <laughs> evidently. In life. We recorded in life. We, yes, yes. So we're redoing this. It is a bag sale day for Garon Toten Bags. And now the clock is really loud in my head. And now, yeah. So now we're under a little bit of pressure. We will do the comments next video for that we talked about before. Next video. They were great comments. Thank you so much. Really amazing comments. Thank you. They were. All righty. Um, and also in our next video, as an extra bonus, we're going to do a Halloween decor uh, uh, thing. Yeah, for don't, you. don't look out there. I only put enough stuff here. Yeah. I got to pull the other boxes yeah. out for the rest of the house. Well, and <laughs> yeah, by then, hopefully, uh, some more space will be available. So we'll be able to catch that yeah. as well. Uh -huh. And actually, you could pre record it on your phone and then we can just splice it in. Oh yeah. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> so finishes, Gary. Yeah. EJ, do you have a finish? No, no yeah. sir. Again, I don't have a finish. I mean we had ha I figured maybe an hour and a half you could have had one, but I mean I could have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So I finished Witch's Wheel by Glendon Place. How do you know which is the top? Uh very simple. There's two spiders here. That are coming down. They have gotcha. And the others are just scattered. Gotcha. Good question. Yeah. And yeah. so this is stitched on 32 count Phoenix by B Stitch Me. And I changed out um, the, the buckle. The buckles. <laughs> Funny how she knows exactly what you were going to talk about. <laughs> it's like she's psychic. <laughs> I could have said the shoelaces. <laughs> Okay, so I chased out the, 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 the beads 
to Krynik on the buckle and the flames and the uh, steam of the cauldron. Um, because this is a 32 count and the beads were not sitting very well in those in those areas. And I, I like the extra sparkle. So I still use the beads and the hats and everything has beaded eyes all around. So this That's is really kind of, good. Yeah. Again. I really enjoyed this. And uh, still, I, still. Still it, looks good. It still looks amazing. <laughs> and yes, yes, I know it was not on the plan that we said last week, if you guys rewind, mm -hmm. rewatch, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, mm -hmm. one of my friends, Kathy, said she was working on hers and she was a little bit ahead of me and I finished mine. <laughs> yes, we all know that stitching is not a competition unless you're Gary. At yeah. which point. And then if he feels that he can't win, then he won't. Except yeah. You, yeah. Hey, it's the whatever. I know. <laughs> it's all um, about me. Yes, it is. Okay, that's all my finishes. Oh, I had it fully finished. My framing was done at the cross stitch cupboard. This is um, something coffee. I love coffee. Uh, coffee lovers. Coffee lovers imaginating. And um, it's done on, and it, again, I still don't remember the fabric, but it's-, it's Don't say fabric. again, because they didn't know about the first. Right. So it's the DMC fabric you can buy in a tube at Joann's. It's um, it's like a natural. It's a probably natural. A, it's probably called natural. Something. Yeah, yeah. Because there's like some specks and stuff mm -hmm. in there. I thought it was perfect for like that. All natural. And it was a piece of fabric that I had in my stash, so I had it for a long time. So it may or may not be making it anymore. No, it's still there. So there. Oh. Yeah, it's still there. Because oh. I was thinking about getting another piece. And is that a fiddler's cloth? Is it called oh, fiddler? I think it might be fiddler's. cloth cloth yes okay yeah <clears throat> um yes so and this was a, a gift so i won't have it very long now see what happens when we rag someone about seven half stitches they get it done that's right this is that's right this was a piece that i started because i was going on a, a cruise and i thought it would be a nice piece to take with me and it turned out it was mm -hmm. it was it was a perfect piece to take yeah well, and, well, that that. it finishes yes what count is that? I think it's maybe like a 28 yeah, count or it might yeah. be even higher than a 28 or lower than a 28. I think it's 28. You think it's a 28? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But it's it's gorgeous and I, I really love it. The frame is nice. I love the um you know the the texture in the yeah. frame, like, I, like an old yes, braid or something. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Karen helped me pick that out. Yeah, that's good. Yes, it was very, very nice. Cross stitch covered for framing. <clears throat> okay, um, whips. You didn't have any starts. <laughs> How do you know? Ask me. It's time for starts. <laughs> if we're going to have a g agenda, we need to call it agenda. Actually, I didn't write an agenda. I know. I, I didn't call you out earlier. That you kept flipping back to a couple of pages to see what we're supposed to do after <laughs> 157 videos. I want to make sure that we get everything in. Okay, so starts. No, I have no starts still. I have okay. no starts. All right, but I have whip. Okay, so AJ, let's see your whips. I stitched on her mother. Mother Moon. Moon. <laughs> I only have half a cup of coffee, so we can't say her much longer. was practice. <laughs> so I stitched on. I um I completed the full stitches from here all the way here. Oh, I completed the full stitches here in cotton. I'm still working on the crinic. Let's so, see the lips. Uh, yeah, hold it. I did her hold. lips. Except I just want to see the lips. I just her. Just her. Oh look at this. There you go. Perfect. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Okay, you can keep talking. So, that's so <laughs> the lips, the lips are missing back stitching and three um and a bead right here and two hat two quarter stitches over here and back stitching. But okay. other than that, the lips are done. I still need to do a little bit more on the eyes and then crinic back stitching beads, and she will be done. Perfect. So we have. Today is the, we have 11 more days to make sure she gets done. 
-hmm. before the before hunter moon before the hunter moon that's right which is a full moon mm -hmm. full bright moon and a, moon. and a nice high tide day for us down here that's right that's right is it yeah king tide right king tide i don't know what that means but i'll figure it out you don't live next to the beach so you wouldn't know right no we i live in the i live i live next to the everglades oh, they get flooded i don't i don't get flooded I'm yeah inland. yeah <laughs> king tides occur with um like a hunter's moon full moon uh so the the tides are higher much higher for several days than normal and some of those and nice expensive condos on the beach get, yeah their underground parking gets flooded yes yes so it's seawater it's, it's pretty extensive the seawater comes in and floods across the roads uh fort lauderdale beach in particular mm -hmm. um just it just comes right across uh the highway yeah, yeah. and it, we're not talking a little bit of rainwater type situation we're talking real water oh yeah. wow yeah <clears throat> king tides everybody loves those king tides mm -hmm. all right Not people who have houses in the, next to the beach but yeah so this is my this is her and that's what i worked on this whole week mm -hmm. wow. because i'm focused on finishing her sooner than later all right there's no later there's no later this is 21st it. this is it this is it. The twentieth right. would be a nice day too. Yes. Okay. Come, let's see your whips. Whips. Gary. Okay. Uh, Sunday, I worked on O oh, Feathers with the Zoom group, and I have a page finish. I finished this page. Oh. Now I have two full page finishes, and this is on a thirty-two count. Um, Big Sky. It's called Big Sky. I I don't recall the dyer offhand. I really should do what Shirley does and put little cards on the back. I tell you. But, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, but, I'm, I'm at that age where I tried that one year and then my cards got put in opposite bags of the projects um, and I was trying to figure out this is blue, but it's not a blue fabric. Oh, so well, you have to put the name of the chart on it. I did too. that too. I, oh. It just didn't work for me. <laughs> All that organizing did not work for me. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, you're not going to get the same effect, but I did stitch on Bella Filipina. Look at that. Ooh. Ah. It's not the same. I, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and she looks good. I, I, yeah. I never get, get tired yeah. of looking at I her. I really enjoy stitching on her. And she's on a 30, 28 count changeling. And you did a whole lot of stitching. I did this whole page here because she had a half a face last week. What? I want to point. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And then so, so I need to come down to here and that'll be the finish of that page. And then I could probably start working on this part and coming up over. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So this is, this is going to be really i still fun. think this is the I, I recognize all the other stitching involved but the book I is still amazing i think that this is the best part yeah. of this piece so the the book is the focal piece mm -hmm. of the vocal part i know she's with, okay but whoo that's she's that. okay but <laughs> the book has got all the spells in it yeah the <laughs> without <spell>. the book <laughs> you, know, you can replace the person but anyway it's still <laughs> cool and i stitched on harvest delivery nice i just on the horse. I think I only had like I two think little, so. Two little white okay. strips here. And then so I finished all through here. I just gotta do the front half, and then this will be a whip go finish. And that's Plum Street Sampler. Yes. I, I was, what is in the pumpkin? What goes in this pumpkin? More stitching. Oh. <laughs> is it filled in? Yes. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe it was like a carriage, you know. Well, like a you know what? I, I have to focus on what the challenge is. The challenge is no, to I get, get the that. horse done. No, no <laughs> so, I just I thought it was like a carriage, you know, where you have yeah. the windows where you can see the. No, people it's it's a bunch of fill in, and okay. then there's I think there's like this motif right here. Mm -hmm. I think there's two more somewhere over here. Okay. So there's a lot more to go on to mm -hmm. this, and then mm -hmm. there's a big sign with the date mm -hmm. right there. Then it'll be done. Yeah. But this is on 32 count good. grandpa's sleeve. Very nice. Again. That looks really good. Yeah. There we yeah. go. I mean, okay. if we add the time from before and now, this has been up here for about an hour. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show my whips now. 
Uh, no particular order. <laughs> right. I'm, oh, I happened to work on this one last night. Mm -hmm. This is um, Rosewood Manor Autumn Quaker. It's on 36 count. Yeah, it's okay. I don't care. <laughs> 36 count colonial parchment. <laughs> Fabric by Stephanie. And I'm using a Victorian model sampler conversion. So I, I'm working on this motif here. Uh, last time you saw it, I had the outline. And so I've been filling it in. And um, so yep. here's mm -hmm. like, so this, this is where I am right here, this motif right here, which mm -hmm. is one of the largest motifs uh, in, the, in the chart. I will be working on it again today. So we'll get a couple of days mm -hmm. uh, in. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, we did talk about this before, but uh, I'm working on this. I Once I put a color, a thread in my needle, I uh, work it through on that motif. And in this case, I had a little bit of thread left here. So I started on a motif next to it. And I'm, I'm just working on a piece that I put together so I could have the whole chart because I stitch off an iPad using Good Reader, and this motif had a small part of it that was on a second page and that was awkward. So I, I made a copy of the two pages, taped it together to match up, and then I scanned it into the <laughs> iPad so I had this whole motif. And I, so. I thought that was pretty that was about good. good. That was really good. That was really good. I thought it was pretty ingenious to get what yes. needed, you know. And you scan it right back in because you couldn't. Right do it. <laughs> I will not be defeated. <laughs> uh, this is um, woman with vase. African lady with vase. By <laughs> having all kinds of trouble here. Well, I mean, if we were prepped, we'd probably be better. No, how are you going to prep that? I didn't know. Okay, we're doing, you know, the Did right the thing. That's what we got. Yeah, absolutely. Mommy and daddy, stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I worked a little bit on arms uh, this week, but you now can really see, oh, here's a picture of what it will look like when it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see the out the vase right here. Uh, and you see where her arm See the vase, you can just see it starting to show. The shadow. This is where her arm is coming around to the uh, hold the bottom of the vase mm -hmm. right there. Uh, this time I worked more on this green along the side because I didn't want to get too far uh, because again, to roll the, the, the scroll frame, I, I needed to get more of this done. So I am right about in here on the okay. green. And I'll come back now. Once I, I think I'll stop on the green here for a little bit and I'll start to fill in the vase next. So that's what you'll start to see is the vase and then maybe I'll complete this arm. Okay. Gotcha. Over here. So, yeah. Are you bringing her back um, this month? Uh, yes, she will be back not no. this no no not this yeah. month oh yeah she comes back towards the end of the month on the 28th the 28th of the month yes gotcha. mm -hmm. i worked on nevermore by lila studio this this is what it looks like and i'm working here on the top right there mm -hmm. on the top and I have come uh, all across the top. This is the full top. I have this bat left to do, which I'm doing in 310. It was originally charted for this whole section to be in one color. I'm, I'm using a um, Victorian model sampler, um, something, I forget what it's called, but um, I've made conversions from the original um, call for overdyes mm -hmm. uh, in this. So uh, this, this part is a Victorian model sampler and then the bats are being done in 310. A couple of the bats are darker than the rest because 
you know, I was having a real problem remembering when I was stitching on 36 count and I would put two threads in my needle. Um, so a couple of these bats were actually done with two threads, but now I'm back to one. So can I give a suggestion? Uh huh. Okay. So pattern, right? Mm -hmm. One thread, two threads, two threads, one thread. So the last one should be with two threads. Put it on the card. When I look at the card, when I'm picking it up to stitch, what I did do though, I did write at the top of my uh, working copy, mm -hmm. one strand. Big. But since you made that mistake, keep the pattern going by doing the last bat in two strands. Oh, so you think this one should be done in two, two strands? Yes. Oh, and okay. keep the pattern going. Oh, okay. And then the rest of it would be one, one strand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Okay. I can live with that. I worked on Another Year Creeps By by Ink Circles. We had a whole joke. It was funny. Ha ha. He, he. Man. Mm. But go ahead. <laughs> Hold on, I'm taking my time to make sure I show it to you in the right direction. <laughs> uh, this is a 12 part series that was originally released uh, as a Sal through Stitchy Box in 2018. I am working on the second uh, square here. It's called Box Elders. Uh, and you'll notice that these are coffins with skeletons in them. And, and so this is where I am. Mm -hmm. I think the last time you saw it, I, and this had a couple of days this week, I just had the coffins outlined. Uh, so I've done all of the flower here on the, in the four corners. And I, I was able to um, fill in one, one of the coffins. I Question. think it's so cute. Yeah, looks good. It is super cute. Do you have to stitch in the the skeleton or you'll leave it like that, right? He has to be stitched in. Yeah, yeah. there's still another color that needs to go. Do you want to? I don't think you don't need I almost, to. I almost don't need to. Yeah. No, you don't need to. You don't really need to. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a gold color. It's one of the colors that's in the flower, actually. But I, I see your point. It does look nice. Mm. Without it, but I think I do want it filled in because it's yeah. kind of a gold color. Yeah. Um, I worked on Halloween Town last Sunday. Uh, no, let's hear it. <laughs> I was looking at the picture. No, you were looking at the title, Halloween Town. Oh. <laughs> uh, and I have stitched all the way across to the house, not the words underneath. And I'm working on this box of words okay. here. This is being stitched on a 36 count uh, R&R Reproductions Winter Brew. Yeah. Uh, and I'm using, when I bought the chart, it came with silk threads. So I'm using the call, the originally called for um, silk threads. So I, I finished the square and the pumpkins. That pin is in it to mark the middle because I miscounted my box so it's three stitches too wide i am centering the lettering okay. which is why that pin is there so did you stitch the pumpkins first or the box first i stitched the box first oh, okay and then i did the pumpkin okay here's the rest of it Let's see back here yeah so, yeah but i didn't fill in the left until i finished the last pot pumpkin so that i would have the right um, amount of space and uh, that's when I realized I did this pumpkin then I did this and then I came back this way to do the rest of the pumpkins and when I did this one is really I realized I had some extra spaces so then if you would have came from this way before you finished that line you could have taken out some of those stitches yes if one is prone to remove stitches okay <laughs> which we all know I am not prone to remove stitches. She is not the one. <laughs> she just goes with it. No. <laughs> Once it's in, it's in. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Sugar Skull by Imaginating is actually designed by Diane Arthurs, released through Imaginating. I am stitching on a uh, glow-in-the-dark fabric, so I am not stitching any of the background white in the skull. I'm stitching the um, all the color pieces of it. And here is where I am. This is a 32 count glow in the dark. So I am using two threads over two fabric threads and I'm using the call for DMC. And this is fun. This is, this is like stitching a Rosewood Manor. You know, there's a lot of color mm -hmm. changes, yeah. um, but it's, it's a lot of fun watching it come alive. I've got a long way to go. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, because I'm going to do all of the outside mm -hmm. uh, bits and pieces of it, too. So, yeah. So this is a long haul piece, but it's fun. So those are my whips for this week. OK. Um, and we don't do, do we have a whip go update? Nope. 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 Whip go. OK. How about haul? Haul? I have haul. OK. I had an under the sea fabrics. Um, what do you call that? Haul, my delivery. monthly Receive. delivery. And the color is Valkyrie. Nice. Thing. Ooh, pretty. It's like a blue, blue purple. A blue purple. The mailman is there. Uh, uh, oh, he needs you to sign. Yeah, I got to go sign. Okay. okay. No, oh, never mind. Good. Okay. It's a blue purple. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's, That's pretty. pretty. Hopefully I can stitch over this little thingy. Yeah. Ooh, what is it? What is, let me see. Not what now. It? Wait, make him wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right. Nice. Yeah. That looks like, um, like a moon surface, right? But yes, it does. Yeah. It does. And I have a Rosewood Manor that says, hello, moon, that Gary gave me a long time ago. For your oh, birthday. Yes. Sounds like a birthday start to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing birthday starts. Well, it'll it's be bad a... luck if you don't do a birthday start. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> bad luck with my whip list. Yeah, she could start it in December or she could put it on her list for next year to be one of her 22 that she could start for her birthday. Oh. Yep. Oh, rules. That is all. Okay. That's all. Oh, oh, okay. Paul, I got my bag of the month. From Garon. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are, I look, look at this. There's like two different Frankensteins on here. Uh, there's this one. Like, where like he got in trouble because she's yelling at him. Oh, yeah. I see. This one right here where he's running away from her. <laughs> he I think he's trouble. remorseful on one of them. I don't think so. I think he's just. <laughs> and the inside and is the very inside pretty. Too. Is cool because it's. Look. Very yeah, pretty pumpkins and witches flying. Yeah, that's and I got my stuff inside. Yeah, well, I, I got the see it closer. Up. I got the mini bag. Oh, oh I got see because I'm in management. I get the oops. <laughs> it goes this way. <laughs> so the perks of management. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got the new Rosewood Manor. October 31st. Look at those pumpkins. Those pumpkins are so cool. What does it say backstitched? Be beware. Um, beware witches and ghouls. And then there's spooky. And then there's curses. Curses. And then there's rest in peace on the top. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So here's another chart. Rosewood Manor, she always gives you multiple charts. There's like at least three or four different charts in this book which related is, to the pattern, yes. but just broken out into different formats. Which is what makes her chart so much fun because you, you get your primary, mm -hmm. but you also get extras. And I think there's almost a little something on every page, just almost. Yeah, she either does page. like a little scissor fob thing or, or it could be a border, a potential border, border piece. Uh, an yeah. alphabet. I mean, a great small mm -hmm. for a re retreat exchange. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect because 
when you stitch this on 32 count, it'll fit in a four inch uh, bell pull. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of doing mine as a bell pull. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. cute. Yeah. yeah. And I like the ABC Halloween at the bottom. Uh huh. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> I was busy when you to show you home. You have more home. I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A friend, lady in uh, Zoom, send you a birthday present. Oh, we see it's a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Thank you. We have to on camera next week. Okay. Okay. Is it birthday? She can. My birthday? Huh? Birthday in the middle of the week. My birthday's on well, a Thursday. Well, but if we move her birthday to the 23rd, like it should be, we can do it. <laughs> Well, we think it's six. Yeah, you y'all thought, yeah. Y'all still debating about when my birthday is. That's ridiculous. I can open it on the 23rd. Do you want me to open it on the 23rd? Yeah. Yeah, let's, oh, let's the do the 23rd. That. That's closer to yeah. you. Thank you. It's after, but it's yeah. closer. And we won't yes. tell you who it is until you get it. Okay. Thank right. you, whoever. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. And then I also got my my thing from it's a berry club that I'm in and it's uh called blackberries. Blackberries, but it's purples. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Mm, gorgeous. That's, yeah, that's really pretty. Well, and I love it because they give you all the little felts to do the finishing the topper with. Mm -hmm. And you get the floss, a little bit of DMC floss fabrics. And then the cool. That's not DMC. This is. Um, this is DMC. Start, oh, that. Yeah. Oh. You just enough. Oh, for what you need. You don't need a full skein. I got gotcha. you. And, and then there's a little. Look at the little pen that goes on top, and some ribbon. All that purple stuff. That's cute. So, I think there's a blue. I, I have the blue one. I have a red one. I think there's another color, and I'm gonna do all these next uh, year. Very pretty. Yeah. I was trying to decide if this is a Coloris. Mm, I don't think no, no, so. No, no, it's a DMC. I think it's two colors they tied together. Yeah. Oh, it's two colors. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Just a link though. Very pretty. So it, this has been a very fun club to be in. And um, that is all the haul. Okay. I don't have any haul this week. Oh. Yes. Um, announcements. EJ, do you have any announcements? I do not. Okay. okay. Announcements. I have an announcement. I gotta get. It. I'm getting really close to Sheila. Like, Notice as I move away. So <laughs> you notice the boxes were gone. I didn't want anyone to panic. The boxes are still here. They're just over. Well, they're stacked. They're, they're stacked over there. So the mini mystery Halloween box will go on sale October the 13th, which is a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, USA. And it's going to be, um, we have three sizes of fabric that, that they're kitted with. Um, 16 count Ada, 18 count Ada, and 32 count linen. They're still dirty? Yeah. This is from, so from, even from before, the, even on actually episode one. I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, there's going to be, there's 40, bo 40 boxes of the 16 count. And um, 16 boxes of the of the 18 count, and then 94 boxes of the 32 count. So overall, it adds up to 150 boxes. And uh, it was a struggle just to get enough stuff to put mm -hmm. in that many boxes mm -hmm. with the pandemic and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to work on trying to get that doubled next year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, supplies will be more mm -hmm. readily available. Mm -hmm. And um, we won't be doing... I don't ever see us doing more than possibly one or two specialty boxes a year because we have other lot. things. It's a lot of work and we want to keep them special. Yes. So Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not a box making company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, whenever I have a theme or something, mm -hmm. you know, you work with a designer to mm -hmm. get a nice chart. Mm -hmm. I really, I like doing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then my other announcement is. Oh, oh yeah. Stitchy kindness. Stitchy kindness. Oh my God! You got Gary on green. Oh wait. <laughs> Where'd you get that picture? Where'd they get? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> anyway. Just like you. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. There Lisa. is a striking resemblance. Yes, come on, for real. <laughs> I never. Don't forget your spice. Your spice. My spice? Mm-hmm. Oh, and my other Frankenstein from Jennifer. Yes. She finished, Smile. She finished this for me. <laughs> See? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that's cute. So I love this it. Was my, um, this was a kit from uh, Race the Roof many years ago. Mm -hmm. And it came, everything came inside the little jar. Oh, all the floss cute. and everything. So how they're, cute. They're, they're not available ever, mm -hmm. ever anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've always been looking for one. And when I saw one pop up on Facebook, I made a comment. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. <laughs> and then in Zoom Sunday, one Sunday, Jennifer says, you want it? Like, yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Jennifer. So it's perfect for like quartz, but it's, yep. it's really just a regular spice jar. I mean, think yeah. of, think of the, what you could do mm -hmm. for like a, a drum finish. Mm -hmm. Why do a drum when you can mm -hmm. just do a sleeve? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the idea of reusing the spice jars too, because when and well, it takes me a long time to go through a spice jar that size, but yeah. when you do, it's a great idea yeah. for re. And even if you them. don't use it for orts, I mean, you could still use it as a shelf setter. Mm -hmm. And then I oh, you could have like an array of like little things on mm -hmm. the shelf. I mean, think about mm -hmm. little nutcracker mm -hmm. stitch things, oh, banana yeah. faces. Mm -hmm. Cute. And then. We got a new designer in the shop. I'm really proud of uh, a French designer. I think it's Reflet de Spa. There you go. She speaks French. Oh, EJ, EJ, really. Yeah. So these these are two of eight of the charts we have in the shop now from this designer, and um, these are really great. They're French designs, and they come with the Auvergne Spa silks, all nice. kitted up on a nice little chart. It's just the, the chart and the silk with a little, um, what was this? What did you hit me for? I want to show mine. <laughs> oh, there's one with Sulky in there? No, no, so they no, no. No, that's, the whole spool of Sulky? No, no, that's it's an Overa Swa. Overa Swa is on the spools too. Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah. Them are. Good to so know. So there's, oh, look at, I like that green better. Give me that one. <laughs> But uh, I like that green. So these are really pretty. <laughs> and there's a red sampler with um with the whole um hank of 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 the red silk. Oh really? Yeah. Show us that next week. Yeah, I'll show you that next week. This okay, good, good. They're still here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had to order this, the, web, the whole website and the design. Everything was all in French. So I'm using Google Translator. We're sending emails back and forth. And I'm doing Google Translator to see what she's saying to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> was, she's doing the same thing on her end. I know too. she is. But it, it was a great thank you, Andrea, for the adventure of picking a new designer. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm glad I have somebody else in the shop now. Oh, good. Okay. So um, that was announcements. I think I got everything this time. I think so. Okay. Plans? Eat My it. plan is to work on Mother Moon mm -hmm. and um, at least do all the complete stitches and the quarter stitches. Hold her, always hold her close to the yeah, camera. Yeah, we, we only so want we, to see we, her. We don't need to see you. We, we know see what you. you look like. Sorry. It's all about Mother Moon. <laughs> yes, yeah, it really is all about her. Look at that. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, jeez. Oh, Did we just film a video with her and I us? I know, exactly. Holy cow. All right. So, no matter where you are, Bye. Daddy, when you're stitching. Bye. Gotta write this time. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll be working on Mother Moon. My goal is to all full stitches and all quarter stitches done. Uh -huh. So I can start on back stitching and beading. Great. Wow. Yeah, you got it. You can you can meet the deadline. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, Gary, your uh, plans? my plan is to finish up the horse because it's a whip go thing mm -hmm. is to do the horse. Mm -hmm. And if I'm still into it, I may just finish up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Depends on what my stitching is going to be so, like this week. So does whip go go through the whole month of December? So yeah. So yeah. December 31st? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. 
So, yes. so will she call new numbers in December or she calls her last one in November because you stitch on it in December? That there's makes only, sense. There's only four blocks left. So she would call two this and, a, and then two and in the November. last two in November. November. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For December, she calls the number for the next month. Yeah. 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 I don't know. And, All of a sudden, yeah. I was trying and, to. And since there's no Zoom, out. since there's no Zoom this Sunday. I won't stitch on old feathers because I only stitch oh, on that on Zoom, Zoom with the Zoom group. Yeah, because yeah. we're all stitching it. Most of us are stitching it as I stitch along. Yeah. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to stitch yeah, it. Really actually, stitch along. stitch along with people. <laughs> so <laughs> stitching old feathers, join us on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to stitch on her. I'm going to finish up the arch, and maybe start the next page. Yeah. Very pretty. I'm really yes. yes. She's a relaxing yeah. stitch. Amazingly enough, she's a relaxing stitch with all the color changes and everything. Well, it, it's actually nice uh, blocks of color. Um, yeah. I think the dress probably has a more uh, change. More there, of a well, change there's a lot of changes here. There's frequency. like five colors in her sleeve. Okay. But here, I think they, they do, like you said, yeah, they do come down the yes. waves or something yes. like that. Yes, yeah. But it's, it's very relaxing. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. The folds, I love it. I mean, all this is beading, beading. The artistry, all it's beading. like, yeah, man. Yeah. The, when uh, they see light and dark, oh, yeah. gorgeous. And he, and he used the new DMZ colors, 34 and 35, mm -hmm. um, 26, you know, some of the newer colors, which is great. Mm -hmm. But Bella Filipina is an amazing designer. Really, truly, truly. Okay. And they go faster than what you thought. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all my plans. Oh, my plans. My plans, I'm going to stitch on Autumn Quaker some more today. Mm -hmm. uh, this month, I'm doing Halloween and Autumn. Uh, and some pieces I'm stitching on consecutive days. Others, I'm just, I've spread it out throughout the month. So in that vein, I am returning to Halloween Town tomorrow. And I should get a lot done tomorrow yeah. because Contrary to what I said last video, our London-based NFL game is this Sunday. So I'll be stitching from 9 o'clock, 9.30 Sunday morning, all the way through to about 10-ish. Uh, I will also stitch on Autumn Garden, which is samplerish. Uh, two days uh, for If Pumpkins Could Fly, which mm -hmm. is hands-on design. I will then do Song of the Seasons, return to Sugar Skull, and then uh, next Saturday, I'll be back to Autumn Quaker again. Oh, I did forget something. Oh. The outside of the box. Oh, the rose gold box. The, the copper, copper pumpkin colored box. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying for that. Keep yeah. trying. <laughs> uh, there's a hint of the box as to what is inside. And you will get it once you open it up. Okay. And if not, then I'll spill the beans. Next after week, gets anyway. It. Well, not oh, after next week. No. Week, uh, the end of the month, I guess. October. Yeah, but yeah, by the time that everyone should get it by October 30th. October 30th, I'll spill the beans. That's a long way out. So if you I'll, should... I'll give them time to figure it out. <laughs> because I when, when, when will we have the unboxing? Will we do it on the 30, on the 23rd or the 30th? I think no, you should, you should do it on the 30th, the unboxing, like the day before Halloween. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I actually have two free days. Look at that. I didn't fill in the last. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know why. Because I was waiting to see if um, the next band on um, learning stitches was going to be. Drop. Out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that's why. Okay. So I think Sorry. we're. Oh, that's why I had my plans. Okay. Well, I think we're done. Again. Again. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know. Hey, the first hour and a half video was amazing. So yes. we, we hope you guys enjoyed the highlight video that you just watched. <laughs> the highlight reel. <laughs> Look, 156 episodes. This was only the second time that I forgot to hit record. You know what I mean? And and right. let's not forget everybody. The two of them sat here. <laughs> <laughs> and, a half, and neither one of them noticed that there was no recording indicator ever. 
Neither it one of them rec- noticed. You stopped recording. No, no, no. no it's, it's still there. Recording. I'm watching. Oh. You. <laughs> and you know what? And, and EJ, I don't know on your end, but do you hear it when it says recording starting? Yes. We didn't hear that. Didn't, as that was my next point. <laughs> Neither one of them noticed that you didn't hear the little voice. That, that, that voice is new, thing. though. It is. For, for 150 episodes, we've never heard that voice. The voice so is it's new. been in effect for the last couple to three months, mm. I think. Okay. Yeah. They're, so I'm so, you know, I, yes, Shelia forgot to hit record <laughs> on this computer, but there should be a second and third level quality control check. It completely failed in well, this instance. This quality control check was only thinking of bag sale, which is starting in a few hours. It's only thinking, <laughs> that's right. And so because of last bag sale, um, my loading took like didn't get fully loaded till 215 and everybody panicked and the world almost crashed. Oh uh, well. But we got through it. And yeah. so I'm gonna make sure it's, it's up at two o'clock. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. Next week, we will revisit our comments that we had for this video initially, as well as whatever new comments. And then we'll also us. ask EJ how she survived without a day of Instagram and Facebook. It's the rest I of didn't me. even notice. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. It was a nothing to me. Okay. It was a school day. So she was, yeah. you know, okay, otherwise- good. on a Saturday or a Sunday. Hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. good. So yeah. we won't be discussing that. No. <laughs> So, a day without TV? Oh, no, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're done. You're done. Yeah. So I think we've said it all. No, and don't forget. Tiger <laughs> <laughs> is 57. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> no matter where you are, you are the, the sun, sun is, is always, always shining. Bye. Bye. Bye.